Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com. Now if you're looking for a home screen that's dark and minimal, but you don't know exactly how to create it, I'm going to be featuring today's screen of the day called Zerent, featured here. Wow, this screen of the day really has it all. We start off with our first screen that comes with our user icon, as well as say like any name or text that you want, as well as the search bar. And beneath that, it's got these awesome clock, as well as this amazing, amazing weather. Wow, it just really looks nice. On the other screen, it's got over every, almost every app that you really need in one handy little folder. We've got our communication that opens up our phone. We've got social that opens up anything from Twitter all the way to tap a talk. We've got multimedia bringing up our camera and as well as our utilities that come with any, open up anything such as our file explorers. And it comes with this awesome transition. Look at that, really, really cool. In this tutorial, I'll be bringing you from the stock Nova launcher all the way into this amazing home screen. Let us begin. Okay, starting from our stock Nova launcher, what we'll first do is tap options, Nova settings, and you want our desktop to be a 6x7, scroll effect to be none, wallpaper scrolling to be on, take off label icons. Enable resize of widgets, widget overlap, as well as overlap when placing. For our dock, we want to take off enable dock, as well as so scroll indicator, show divider, all of this must be off. One thing you might also want to add into our gestures and buttons, is so our home button to be app draw and to take off only on default screen. That just helps as there'll be no app draw if you can, in case you want to get one. Also select home screens and you only want two screens like that, one, two. Okay, once you've set up your Nova settings, we'll go into, we'll push menu and then choose wallpaper. This will be followed by selecting live wallpaper. Now you want this app called multi-picture live wallpaper, which is really, really great in some of these circumstances. So from here, we'll choose settings and we'll go add individual settings. You'll first add one, then go okay, and then add two and then okay. And this will show you two of these screen one and screen two settings like so. So next you'll go into screen one settings your picture source you want a single picture once that's loaded we'll go I can either use gallery or file explorer and then find where you have copied your wallpaper now what I've done in this tutorial is open up his PSD seen here called Zerent A dot PSD and all I've simply done is modified his picture and changed a bit of the text around I'll show you right after this so I'll select that one and then go back and then for picture two there are two ways of doing picture two the first one which is the easiest one is simply using the PNG provided as shown here zerentb.png alright that's the easiest way but the second way if you don't enjoy having all the icons is by opening up zerentb.dmec.psd and then changing the text that you want in case you want to have different text and then save that as a PNG. Once you've saved it and copied, copied it to your phone, you are going to select that. So you'll select, say if it was this one, and then that, PS, well that PNG being saved will have blank icons and then you'll just simply have to add them manually. But don't worry, the icons pro are provided in the link below. Okay, after all of that has been set up, we will just want to change our drawing settings to our transition type to be card. Our show reflections, we want them off. And that is it. We'll go back and we'll go set wallpaper. But on one thing, if your if your picture doesn't always fit onto well, go crop resize ratio, seen in the screen settings, and you want to go show entire picture. This will guarantee you showing the entire picture on the screen. Great. So we go set wallpaper. Now we can see whether we have our two screens like that. Obviously, if you've customized your screen to take off all of these icons and change the text, it'll look a slightly different. Great, next we'll move on to our widgets. So for that, we'll need UCCW. You'll hold down on the screen and choose widgets. Scroll to UCCW. Now you can either use a three by three, it doesn't really matter. But next you wanna copy those UZIPs provided in the link and you wanna go open UZIP. And you find where you have to, you have saved your, fo your file. If done correctly, you'll see dot UZIPs. So we'll tap for the clock one and it'll open up quite nicely like this. Just need to resize it a bit. Okay, and there is, there is our clock widget. If it's a little bit too high for you, you can always edit it by tapping it and going select object and bringing them all down by one, by, by two faster movements. 
and just go back and as you can see it looks a bit more in proportion. I think if you have your notifications at the top enabled you don't have to do that step. Great, now we'll move on to the bottom one, the weather skin. So we'll scroll down, go to another 3x3 three three, and you also you'll go open use up and then look where it is but I've already installed it so I'll just find it at the bottom here. If it says this, no more room for, for room on this home screen, a simple trick is just to resize this one, make it, put it wherever you want, and then do that step again. See, I'm doing this so you don't have to. Go and resize. There we go. Now you just need to resize, resize this back into place. Boom. That sometimes happens to me, so always just resize it, put it back, resize it again. They're overlapping, so it's all good great now finally that search at the top there you can just use a, a Google the Google's icon like here and you'll put it right about there and we'll go edit tap that picture and you want a blank PNG there it is As you can see it's quite blank and it disappears but just tapping that search will bring up our search like that awesome stuff Let's move on to screen two. Okay, screen two. So if you're using the easy way or the first way, which is already included, including all the icons here, all we have to do is say for Google Plus, we'll go hold down on the home screen and choose apps. And we'll choose select Google Plus, hold it down, go edit, tap the picture. I'll just go gallery. I think I've selected quick pick as my default. That's why it shows it. And you make it blank. See, it doesn't show any text because I've deselected show title in the Nova settings. So you just need to do that for every one of these. Might take a while, but you can always go hold down and choose apps and go select multiple, which is quite a cool thing from Nova. Well done, Nova. And you can select all of these that you want and then just rearrange them like that and then make them blank. If you wanted to do the harder way where everything's blank, we'll just hold down do the same thing except all you have to do is say for for Twitter go edit select the icon go in the gallery and find where you have saved the icon that are provided okay and there we have our home screen of the day complete I hope you've enjoyed it folks if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below don't worry I have been listening to your requests and I'll be doing them within the next week I just need to wait for permissions and all of that kind of stuff. Thank you very much guys and see you around next time. Oh and a few of these home screens are getting a bit technical with Photoshop. So if you, if a lot of people request it, I will gladly show a quick tutorial on the computer. It might be a bit messy but it also might help. So yeah.